Hey boss, I think we could better manage our time by organising some team activities. Head to the activities screen to see what we have available. Head up the R&D here. I'd love to stay in chat, but we've got a race to win. You'll find everything you need at your desk. Uh, give us a shout if you need anything else. And with qualifying complete, 
Let's review our top three today. Bottas, Verstappen and Sergio Perez. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Hamilton, Lando Norris and Leclerc, Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Vettel and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Gasly, Yuki Tsunoda, and Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, Russell, Carlos Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Matsushita, Mazepin, Latifi, and Rowan. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Back row of the grid, not a great start to the season, so let's try and improve our position over the course of the race.
that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Nobuharu is in the pits. Nobuharu in the pits. The teammate behind is 29.7 seconds. behind us is 4.6 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, good work, great pass.
Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So let's review the updated driver standings. Valtteri Bottas passes his rival to take over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Rowan. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.